G'day, Fugitive Australian journalist Shane Dowling from the website kangarooacourtofaustralia.com. Now this is just a quick video on Media Watch host Paul Barry trying to rebirth the reputation of convicted racist Andrew Bolt. On Monday the 26th of September 2022, Media Watch ran a story on the racism scandal engulfing the AFL and uh, they had a video of Andrew Bolt giving his opinion. But they made no mention of the fact that Andrew Bolt was convicted of racism in 2011, breaching the Racial Discrimination Act in a matter known as ETOC versus Bolt. But then they had Eddie Maguire on in video of him giving his opinion, and they mentioned the fact that uh, he was involved in a racism scandal in 2013 involving former AFL player Adam Goodes. So let's watch the video. Or, as Andrew Bolt suggested, of the ABC's motives... Now, all that we do know is what the ABC has reported, and we know the ABC does have a strong race agenda. Let's wait to hear both sides of that story before damning Hawthorne as racist. But again, when did our media ever wait for that? Who dares wait? Because if you wait, you might be called a racist too. So, did the coaches get fair treatment and a fair chance to respond? On nine, Eddie Maguire, who apologised for his own racism scandal after likening Adam Goods to King Kong back in 2013, suggested they didn't. Well, I'm told that Russell Jackson went to all parties on Monday with some of the allegations. Yeah, but that, my understanding that from Brisbane respond. was that it was, it was sent to Brisbane to the general number at, 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 on yeah, the email. The, that, as Jackson fired back on Twitter, was wrong and an attempt to smear his reputation saying he had sent detailed questions to Chris Fagan with 24 hours notice, but that Fagan did not respond to email or phone messages. Jackson tells us the same process, direct emails, follow-up calls and messages, was followed with the other coaches involved. Now, the allegations from the review were clearly news, and what the players and families allege, and Jackson spoke to them personally, was also news. So, if mud now sticks unfairly, it's the AFL and club who bear the blame for not giving the coaches the chance to answer the allegations. All in all, it is a masterclass in how not to manage a crisis. So there you have it, people, a masterclass by the ABC in rebirthing the reputations of dodgy News Corp journalists. And Paul Barry's up to his neck in it. You might think it's, oh, it's just a one-off mistake. It's not. The ABC do it continually by having News Corp journalists on their various programs trying to boost their credibility, and it should stop. And one of the ways to try and make it stop is sharing this video. So make sure you share it on Twitter and Facebook so everyone knows exactly what's happening there at the ABC with their dodgy and biased reporting. And if you're watching this video on YouTube, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. Other than that, thank you for your time and have a good day.